What's up everybody, Brick Scientist here with another LEGO City update today and uh, we did get a lot of stuff done in the city I will be showing you all of the things we have, we have the new Beach Boulevard as well as the new Asian part so yeah let's get it started Alright now as you might have seen in one of my previous videos I was working on a digital model of the Beach Boulevard and I got a bricks and pieces order in and now this is as far as we got with it uh, it is almost finished now we still need some shops for there and we also need some 1x6 grey tiles and starting from this side you can see we got the Sunset Boulevard street sign out there as well as this uh, subway station which I will still have to cut a hole through the table to uh, match it up with the subway station which will come underneath it in the future. And out here we have the skate park on the right side of the boulevard and I really wanted to have a skate park to include it in the city because I am actually a skater for and have been for a very long time. And I used a lot of parts from the new uh, skate park set with those new road plates so I've also used some of those. I got two of these uh, 8x16 ones which I've ordered as well. And I've used these newer types of pieces as well as some of these older ones. You can see this is the older color of grey. And here you can see the gravity games which is like a line of uh, Lego sports. And I'm really happy how it turned out in combination with the boulevard. We got this little plant pot in here uh, for the uh, palm tree. So we got five palm trees on the boulevard and we also have four uh, lamp posts as well. So I'm really loving that. Alright and as you might have seen in my other video uh, the Diagon Alley was gone for a long time as I had to uh, reinstall the lights and stuff uh, to get all of the sound features in and, and everything. So yeah, I kind of figured it out how to get uh, all of the buildings from there connected to the other one. Now I can also use the remote control, also get the sounds and stuff. So let me just show it to you guys quickly. You can hear the sounds, so I'm really, really digging that. Now I can use like all the separate, I can just turn on the lamps and stuff. Number one out here, two, you can see, let me get number five. Number four is the wheezes there. So yeah, let me turn that off real quick. But yeah, I'm very happy to have it back in the city as it was looking very, very empty at first. But uh, yeah, I'm very happy how it looks like right now. I also got two dark gray base plates for here. And then I will soon hopefully be starting on the leaky cauldron on the right side, as well as maybe some other shops on the left side and a lot more uh, like decoration in here as well. All right, now moving on to another area that used to be there. So we had the Asian part out there at first, but now I've moved to the new table here. So when you follow the bridge to this island, we can turn around and you can see we got the entire Ninjago city down here. So we got the complete lineup here. We got the Ninjago city, the docks and the gardens. Now we only have the city and the gardens lit up for the moment, but the light kit for the docks has just arrived. So I'm gonna try to do that tonight. As you can see, I've put in a lot of water out here. Now I'm not sure if I'm gonna keep it this way. I'm probably gonna add in a straight road plate down there. Some of those small, then it narrows down until it becomes like one line and then I'm gonna make, uh, or one street and then I'm gonna make a little bridge uh, to the other side here where all of this uh, temple stuff is. As you can see, we've placed the mountain on this side now, which looks pretty good to me. It still looks very, very naked though. But yeah, as you might have seen in my Ninjago City light kit or Ninjago City Gardens light kit review, we've placed a mirror behind this uh, Asian part. And I really love the fact that you can see the entire city behind there. So let me just check it out like that. So in the night, it also looks a lot nicer. And we did that just to have like the backsides of the Ninjago City to, to be able to see that. And also it makes it look a lot more uh, a lot bigger in here and also makes it uh, makes it seem a lot more uh, busy and stuff as well behind there so as you can see we can look at the back sides here and stuff so very very cool i'm really digging that and out here you can also see the back side of the gardens which looks very very nice i really love it you can also see uh, hogwarts down there and part of the beach as well and i'm moving on to that part that's, that's where the mountain will be now we still have to figure out what we're going to do there and for that area we're going to have like a more of a tropical um a tropical like island type of stuff out there perhaps on the right side i might put like a little harry potter um build or something perhaps azkaban something like that but i would also love to get like an underwater area down there so we can put all of like my egyptian stuff and, and everything underwater down there i think that will look very very cool but yeah so far the asian part now let's move on to another part all right and in one of my other videos i showed you that i've placed the roller coaster where the asian part is right now uh, but i didn't really like that i still love Loved seeing it out here, so I've just placed that back. Now we also put in the Disney castle out here. And now with this platform being extended a bit, we still have some room for some future modulars on here. Uh, I've also managed to get in like a train track out here. As you can see, it's just a big mess here. I just dropped all of like my uh, uh, theme park stuff and everything down here. So yeah, but I would love to get that Disney station now, put it on the left side. And now we can have the Disney train running around here. That would be very epic. I also would love to get the, uh, the Haunted Mansion down there. I think it will also look very nice. It's very tall, so it will look very nice from the uh, the standard view there. 
All right, and then down here, you can see I've put a little King, King's Cross set down here, uh, but I would love to expand this a bit, make this like a kind of mock or something. Uh, and I've placed this little river down here, and I'm sorry for this weird angle, but I'm in the standing hole with my back against the buildings uh, behind me, so it's very difficult to film this. Um, but as you can see, I've put this little river down here. I might try to do like a waterfall or something. And uh, out here, this uh, train, uh, train track splits into another one where I can place like the Hogwarts Express or something. Uh, down here and then we can just like fill this up with a nice King's Cross uh, station mock uh, But yeah, I was left to see how I'm gonna do that All Right, and then I just wanted to show you guys this angle from Diagon Alley here where you can see the Hogwarts uh, castle in the back there I haven't been working on that for quite some time because I ran out of the grey slopes and stuff uh, But I will start soon on the Snape's uh, like his uh, potions class and everything and like the, uh, the, the Slytherin common room and stuff so yeah, but I ran out of slopes and other stuff so I will have to make another order for that all right, now also quickly wanted to show you guys this uh, Lego Elves layout that my girlfriend made down here. Um, she has made a lot of different type of layouts, a lot of different uh, configurations, but I'm really digging this one. It's looking very, very awesome already. As you can see, we've recovered that little uh, waterfall that I used, uh, used to have in the city. And I also used that Spider-Man bridge down there. It looks very, very lovely. I will take some close-up shots down here. All right, so here we have this little goblin village and stuff. We got the castle down there, some tree houses, uh, some more elf stuff. Some more Disney stuff, Rapunzel and stuff, so very, very cool. I also really like these little pathways that she created here and the little uh, figures that she placed and stuff, so it's looking very, very lovely. Uh, but she will do a tour of this herself one day uh, if I <laughs> if I can uh, get her to make a video about it. So either way, let me know what you think of this. I'm really, really loving it, so yeah. But yeah, guys, as you saw, we've been doing a lot of random stuff here and there. Uh, now I finally got the plan figured out what we want to do with the city, where we want to put everything. That's where the harbor, harbor and the uh, winter village will come in the future. Uh, so yeah, now we can start slowly uh, finishing up all of these projects and stuff and start working my way up uh, to a completed city. Now that will still take quite some time. Uh, but either way, thanks a lot guys for watching. Be sure to like, subscribe, uh, stay tuned for some more updates and let me know what you guys think of these uh, updates and of the things that we have been doing like the Beach Boulevard and stuff. So yeah, thanks a lot and I will see you guys in the next video.